I've just returned from a wonderful week painting with uh, 11 other artists in um, a little town called McGregor. Now McGregor is about two and a half hours drive from Cape Town up into the more dry arid areas of, of the country. As we were driving there was uh, a lot of snow still at the top of the mountains because this is spring here and we had a very sort of late snowfall but also all the spring flowers were out and I couldn't resist my very first little painting uh, the day I arrived of just trying to capture some of the colors uh, around me. But we were staying in a lodge called Temenos and it's actually like a type of retreat. They offer a, uh, like spiritual retreats but we were doing an art one and they have these peacocks all over the place and they were performing I think we must have there must be about 10 or 14 peacocks and they were just performing to try and uh, obviously attract a mate and uh, giving us a really great show. So we also had time to uh, observe them properly and also do a couple of sketches and I'd never really painted these peacock before and they're not the easiest things to paint because they do keep on moving although in a very slow manner so I felt that some of these sketches that I did uh, worked some of them didn't work so well but it's just the impression that counts and they have these little uh, waterways and temples um, all over the place and there was especially one that I really like that's this little one it's called uh, Timor the inner temple of the heart and if you go inside this the, the dappled uh, sunlight uh, on these uh, stained glass windows it was absolutely wonderful I tried to capture some of it just in my sketchbook and uh, hopefully I succeeded a little bit but it's just a great memory of course being the flowers out we had to do some of those this one here I started in a very loose manner with just spraying my paper with uh, water first and then just dropping in a few colors then I came with a little bit more detail trying to once that layer had dried trying to depict individual flowers so that you could see it was a field of flowers and I quite liked the uh, the bush here in in the background but just to show a little bit more of what it actually was I've done uh, I come in with a charcoal pencil and just give it a little bit more definition here and there I think adding a sort of mixed media or a charcoal pencil or even if it's pen work to a watercolor can just define certain spots it gives it more texture uh, possibly more interest and it just seems to have worked well in this particular painting now this is not not the easiest thing is to hold my camera and to draw at the same time so if it wobbles around and uh, moves a little bit out of the picture then you know I am trying to look on the camera look on my page and trying to do everything at once not not the easiest thing I still have to try and uh, figure out how I'm going to record while outside uh, without my camera falling over but we were, uh, there was about four or five of us here at this particular spot and um, it's, it's always like a real treat. You never know if the flowers are going to be open or not. So if you have an overcast day or first thing in the morning, the flowers don't open at all. Um, I remember the one day was 11 o'clock in the morning and the, the, the flowers hadn't even opened yet. So you really do have to have a nice bright uh, sunny day you don't really need the warmth but as long as the sun is shining they they will open and this is uh, they've been particularly great this year because of all our rain that we've had so some years are better than others and uh, this year has been really great and they say they're going to be lasting like right through September because of the good rains I am going to be going for the next few days up the west coast here from Cape Town 
and to an area that's renowned for its flowers. So I will be doing or trying to record something else again um, in the next few days of the flower time. So just defining certain things where the little flower heads um, droop down, those that have finished flowering, those in full bloom, uh, adding a couple of highlights here and there and defining the back. I, I wasn't sure if I should add the really bright blue sky in the background. Uh, at the end of the day, I did add the blue and a picture will be following. Uh, and I'm not sure if I should have or not, but look, orange and blue are on the opposite side of the color wheel. So I thought maybe that would give the painting a little bit more, uh, it would be maybe just a little bit more uh, dynamic. So this is the, the last sort of little pick and then I held it up, thought, mm, should I leave it like that or should I not? And then I did add the blue and that is the result. Maybe a little bit more vibrant. We had some very chilly days, as you can see with all the beanies and uh, we had thick jackets on. Of course, we wanted to sketch the town and the little church in the, in the background, but very cloudy day, um, but still... And like a hint of yellow in the foreground uh, so we did mainly mainly buildings and a very good good way to practice your uh, perspective of your buildings and of course there's a fantastic wine farm in the area called Lord's Wines and they are actually named uh, after Lord's Cricket Ground in the UK so the owner is mad about cricket and he decided to to call uh, the whole wine, winery uh, lords. They've won quite a few awards and it's really delicious. And then visiting a friend's farm called Giddy Goat Farm. Wonderful views about five kilometers out of McGregor. Gorgeous, gorgeous sunny day. Uh, loads and loads of flowers. They have like a little dam that um, had quite a lot of weavers and bishops and I'll just show you a little clip and uh, this is Janet a very good artist that has uh, been painting these bishops just from life which is uh, quite an amazing feat and uh, flowers again here they were just slightly different colors there were quite a lot of purples amongst the amongst the yellows and I wanted you can't really see it in the photograph but I wanted to add made sure that, that I added the um, the purple to the to the painting I normally do travel with um, one or two palettes just slightly different colors in in the different palettes uh, just to the, the the smaller one is when I really want to pack light I just take the one but this one seeing that it was a, a road trip if you like and uh, I had place in the car I could pack a little bit more I, I had a slightly bigger palette and as always I squeeze my own colors into my palette and then put them in so I'm adding a, a yellow ochre to some of the yellow just to define some of the petals around and uh, just absolutely loved being out there in nature peace and quiet oh gosh it was a great trip <laughs> great trip indeed and then before we left uh, giddy goat farm we um the owner of the farm uh, breeds these nigerian dwarf goats for the cheese and they had just had little uh, kits, little uh, um, little babies, and it was wonderful to. She took us into the a little shed where they where they stay, and wonderful to see the little young ones. And then before you knew it, it was uh, time to pack up and and go go back home. And we had a really wonderful day, five days painting out in McGregor, and uh, really looking forward to 
going back and painting there again in the very near future.